much, everyone, for being here today. I really appreciate it. Um, podiums are for tall people, so I'm going to stand over here. Um, so, like Dan said, this time last year, about this time last year, we were talking about um, getting ready to put a site coordinator in Clover Park High School. And thanks to um, people like you and donations and some grants, we were able to to do just that and still keep doing all the great work that we were already doing um, at the elementary schools and at Lockburn Middle School. So I am the site coordinator at Clover Park High School. I'm also the program manager for Communities and Schools of Lakewood. So I see our work from a, a whole lot of different levels. But um, this day is one of my favorite days of the year because this is the day that I get to stand up here and look out and see it from the community level and see how many people there really are behind the work that we do. So thank you. Um, so we got to work right away um, as soon as we as soon as we got me in place at Clover Park. We dove right in. Um, so just some numbers behind what we've done so far this year. The first thing we did was support uh, summer school for incoming ninth graders. About 35 incoming ninth graders. Then in August we um, helped support Warrior 101, which is the extended freshman orientation for over 100 students. Um, since then we have helped to provide um, 116 hours of extended learning support for 798 students so far. About 10% of those attend an average of once a week. We've handed out approximately 185 bags of food for either the weekend, extended breaks, or emergency situations. And this is just at Clover Park High School. Um, and these things are not provided just by me. We have tons of community partners that are helping. Um, I would list them, but I'm afraid I would leave someone out. So, um, but many of them are here today. We have provided 63 hours of one-on-one -on -one mentoring, which of course isn't me, that's our mentors, but 63 hours just at the high school of, of kids being mentored, like Danny was just talking about. We've provided uh, 37 hours of support to the AVID elective classes. AVID is a, a college readiness class that really gives kids the mental and emotional tools that it takes to survive in college. So we've been um, supporting that, it's been great. And we have 70 students that are receiving individual um, targeted support from us. So we meet with, about se with these 70 kids about once a month um, some of them more, of course, but for sure once a month. And we just check in with them and, and make sure that they're on track with their goals and um, build relationships with them and find out, you know, what is it you need and who do I know that has that thing that you need. And we're just always working, grinding, connecting people. Um, so I shared these numbers with you for a couple reasons. One is I think that we've done... Um, amazing things in the short amount of time that we've had at Clover Park and it's partly because the partnership with the school is so solid. I feel so blessed to be there and so well supported by the administration and the teachers. It's been great. But the other reason is that behind each of these numbers is a face. Each of these numbers represent a student. Um, so I brought a student here with me today which I'm so excited about. This, this kid is, um, he has faced some challenges it, this year and um, has it had the opportunity to overcome a lot of things that he didn't think that he could, one of which is speaking with you today. So, um, but I've never seen him not meet a challenge. So when I asked him to share with you, I knew he could do it. I wouldn't have asked him if I didn't think he could. Um, I am just one of this kid's biggest fans, so I'm going to bring Austin up right now. Come on up, Austin. 